Cold Black and the Seven Dwarfs is definitely a very interesting Warner Brothers cartoon. This is actually one of the Censored Eleven. The Censored Eleven are eleven cartoons from Warner Brothers that they have completely withheld from syndication. They are no longer available to view from Warner Brothers. Needless to say, they are on the internet. You can find them. And I'm actually really pleased that I waited to watch this until I read this book, um, Wild Mind. It's an absolutely fantastic book about the history of animation and it talks a little bit at length about this cartoon and I'm glad that I had more context about it because actually it's really fascinating. This was written and directed, or rather directed by Robert Clampett, um, released as part of the Merry Melody series in 1943 and needless to say it's a parody on Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs but with a black cast and obviously this is banned because people are saying it's racist but a lot of the people involved, what I'm telling you by the way is facts I've learned from this book. If anybody knows anything to the contrary, please do let me know. But a lot of black individuals were involved in creating this. Some of the people involved at Warner Brothers went to various predominantly black jazz nightclubs and kind of recruited some jazz music musicians to help both with the music side of it and also with representations and a lot of people involved in this were very happy with the representations they saw it purely as a celebration of black people and jazz music and black culture obviously black culture has various different facets and it's not all one thing but what it was representing a lot of individuals at the time black individuals thought it was brilliant and really thoroughly enjoyed this representation of jazz music and obviously because a lot of the time black people were not represented in animation partly because when they did it the, the racial stereotypes were severe you know that's definitely true but this itself can be seen purely as a celebration but at the same time there are people who think it's racist and caricaturing individuals and yes it does in a way caricature but at the same time, there are a lot of white caricatures and people don't really get offended by that because they know it's not something done in seriousness. This is actually done, it is done as a celebration of jazz music um, and particularly black jazz musicians um, and black culture. Again, I'm using that as an umbrella term. I'm aware that there are various different aspects of it. But over the years, some people have taken offence to it and you know, people have a right to be offended by something. They have a right to think something is racist. But I don't think Warner Brothers should have censored this. I should point out, by the way, the narrative itself is not very good. They are obviously parody parodying Snow White kind of loosely, but the music is what makes it pretty great. And we get to see these characters playing these instruments and we have this really wonderful um, jazz music. And interestingly, originally, they were going to get some of these black jazz musicians to do the music for it. But the powers at Warner Brothers said, you can't do that. We have Carl W. Starling under contract. So Carl W. Starling had to do it. But allegedly, some of these black musicians actually spent their time with Carl W. Starling for free. They did this willingly because they were invested in this cartoon to help Starling get the right feel and get the right sounds. So there were actually black individuals heavily involved in this. A lot of them approved this. They, you know not only were okay with it but actually genuinely really enjoyed this appreciation of this kind of music this black culture but then again there are people who are offended by it but then there are always going to be people who are offended by caricatures this is nowhere near as bad as a lot of disney's versions um of interpretations of so-called black culture and i love disney disney i prefer disney to warner brothers but this is kind of how you should maybe the dwarfs the dwarfs are a bit awkward they definitely are coal black as a character though is actually a genuinely likable protagonist and you know as an animation it's fine it, there's nothing about it that i think is particularly fascinating in terms of narrative but it's certainly culturally very fascinating in terms of the history it's very interesting but the question is should it be censored are people right to think it's racist of course if you watch something and you are offended by it and you think it's racist 
fair enough, you're entitled to that opinion. But at the same time, when you learn that potentially your ancestors were involved, not, I'm not saying every black person is related, I just mean an individual may find out that their ancestor was involved in the creation of it, do you then still have the same opinion? Should a film rely on context? Because if I had watched this without context and without knowing that black individuals had been involved in creating it, had, a, had approved of it, had genuinely loved it, Maybe I would have thought, yeah, that's a little bit over the top. And if it had been just white people creating this cartoon about black characters, it would have been uncomfortable. But with all of this context, I, I don't see any problems with it. Because, you know, it is a caricature. And the thing about caricatures is that we get to enjoy our own qualities. And the same with white caricatures or other caricatures they're there as a celebration and it's supposed to be fun there are a few things in this by the way that are questionable there are a few things that did make me go oh even i don't know why everybody would have approved that it's not completely perfect but i just i there's no answer to this question but the question is do you need should a film rely on context to be considered acceptable because without the context i would have questioned it if a bunch of white predominantly men had created this context this car this cartoon about these black characters and indeed this black female character who is not sexualized as such but she's certainly not as sweet and innocent as, as snow white it would have been really awkward but with the knowledge that a lot of black people championed this loved it after it was released then it's okay there is no right answer to that. There is no right or wrong. But I do think that it's unfortunate that Warner Brothers decided to censor it when it is a, an important part of cultural history for all of us. The way we perceive black characters, the fact that black characters never had a real representation in animation for a lot of years. And then they create something like this that a lot of black people have loved. And then Warner Brothers are like, well, actually, even though a lot of you have loved it and actually helped create it, we're no longer going to show it. We're going to just pretend it didn't happen in our history. And that's actually really damaging. That can be really damaging. For multiple reasons. One, if you forget that Warner Brothers did actually make the effort to represent black individuals, it looks really bad on them. But also, if it is considered racist, and they do ignore the fact that it was created, you can't then learn from history. So, it really depends on the way you look at it. I'd love to know what you think about it. As an animation itself, it's fairly interesting. Yes, it's controversial and that's what makes it more interesting, but I really thoroughly enjoyed the background information about it and reading about these jazz musicians who were really excited about this cartoon and, you know, they really approved of it and, as I said, gave their time for free to Starling to help with the music of it and the music being very important because it is a celebration of this kind of jazz music and this culture. And then somewhere along the lines, somebody said, oh, actually, it's a bit racist. Let's not bother with it. And that's, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunate because a lot of people loved it. A lot of people it was representing loved it. And that's the important part. Definitely worth checking out. It is on the internet. You will find it. Maybe one day Warner Brothers will acknowledge the way it was created and maybe treat it not so black and white ironically you know it's either racist or it isn't well actually it's not as simple as that it really isn't as a parody it's not that brilliant i'll be perfectly honest but controversially it's very interesting cold black and the seven dwarfs is definitely worth checking out whether that's for the right reasons or the wrong reasons is something that i think will always be the debate